Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking about habits we need to ditch. Now, I wouldn't say I do these habits all the time, but I do struggle with some of these habits and I would like to ditch them. So, these are my top 10 habits we need to ditch. They're not in any particular order. Leave a comment down below if you think there's another habit that we need to ditch that I haven't mentioned. Okay, so, first habit we need to ditch is snoozing. I love my sleep. Love it. And if I can get a couple of extra minutes in bed, I'm going to want to take it. Especially in the winter when it's really cold and you're warm and you just want to snuggle down under your duvet and not get up. So, um, yeah, so snoozing is a big habit we need to ditch. So, to help uh, me stopping from snoozing, there are some tips. So, I've, for starters, I've got my alarm away from my bed, so I actually have to get up to turn it off. And another thing is, I play music so it's not like a, a, a an alarm sound it's like the radio or my Spotify playlist or something like that um, so when I hear music especially if it's a good song I don't want to turn it off so I'll leave it on and sort of like bop away to it which then gets me going so, so figure out a way to stop snoozing I'm not saying you have to jump out of bed as soon as your alarm goes off. Because like I said, sometimes I don't. I'll let the song play and just sort of pop away and then sort of get out when I want to. But I do not fall back asleep. Um, so yeah, that's the first habit. The second habit is again, the phone. <laughs> right, so okay. So checking your phone before you go to bed and as soon as you wake up I have really struggled with the phone at night I finally managed it's been a habit I mean it's been a goal of mine to have no screen time after 9 30 and I finally managed to do it which means I do not look at my phone after 9 30 it was really hard it took me like seven months I think to actually do it but I have managed to do it and I feel so much better but um, also checking your phone first thing in the morning can be just as bad as checking it just before you go to bed or scrolling mindlessly at like two o'clock in the morning or whatever you do so another habit to ditch is definitely checking your phone last thing at night and first thing in the morning we've got to stop doing it <laughs> um, Another habit we need to work on is not getting enough sleep. I love sleep, but I still struggle sometimes to get seven to nine hours. Um, so I have got a sort of routine going. Like I, ha I call it quiet time. And it's basically from half nine, I don't have any um, screens. So I don't have the TV, laptop, Kindle, uh, phone, whatever, no screens. And then I have quiet time for like an hour and it's just calm and relaxing and it gets me ready to go to bed. Um, another habit. This one is like, again with like technology, it's like trying to kill us. Right, too much just too much streaming <laughs> there are so many streaming services out there now and um, so basically it's like binging but not just binging but also like for example the sleep you you're watching a show or something and it's got like I don't know eight episodes and you're halfway through the season and it's like 11, 12 o'clock at night and you're like, oh, just one more episode and then you end up watching all four episodes that are left. That is bad and we need to stop doing it. 
this is a habit that I do struggle with because there are so many streaming services out there and so many shows and films uh, it is quite easy to get sucked in and binge especially since it's like oh just one more episode just one more episode we need to stop doing it um, so this was like one of the reasons why I was struggling with the no screens at half nine because I'd be like oh I'll just watch another episode or this film I'll start this film now even though it's a two hour film it's fine and then I wasn't getting enough sleep and I was getting cranky no so if it's coming up to half nine and I'm about to hit like say it's nine o'clock and I uh, say it's nine fifteen just finished just a, another episode and I'm about to watch. no I am not watching another episode because I know if I say oh I'll turn it off I won't turn it off I'll end up watching it and then I'll probably watch another episode so no so I have like this like alarm go off at a half nine saying no more and I'm sticking with it and so yeah you need to cut back on the streaming service Okay, too much scrolling is the next habit we need to stop. This, this is big, like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You go down a rabbit hole and you end up watching stuff you wouldn't think you'd be interested in, but then you get sucked in. Um, so I actually deleted TikTok and I've not missed it, which was surprising. Also, half of the people that I was watching on TikTok are on YouTube, so, like, the same content. So, it's like, I'll just get rid of TikTok and watch YouTube instead. Um, but yeah, scrolling late at night, need to stop doing it. You should, like, I don't know, maybe set, like, 20 minutes a day and that's your scrolling time. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But we need to ditch too much scrolling. I don't mind the odd scrolling, especially if you're bored, like you're in a waiting room or something and you're just like, yeah, I'll just scroll through social media, it's fine. But, um, yeah, if you're at work, you shouldn't be on your phone scrolling away. So, yeah, need to work on that. Another habit we need to ditch is not planning our day. Now, I don't always plan the weekends because that's like free time, I'll do what I want when I want, but during the week, and you need to plan your week, because how do you know exactly what you're going to be doing? How do you know about the free time that you have, or not, or don't have? Are you double booking? You need to plan your week, so we need to stop not planning. You don't even need a planner. You can do it in a notebook. Just write down everything that you need to do that week, then write um, the days of the week, and you just allocate the thing that you need to do on the day of the week. So you don't even need a planner, but you do need to plan your week. This is another one. Eating too much junk food. I love junk food. I do. It tastes good. But... You don't need to eat it all, all the time. <laughs> okay? Um... It's so easy to get junk food and it's cheaper more than like most stuff. It's cheaper than actually trying to be healthy, but we're eating too much of it and it's bad. Now, I'm not saying don't eat junk food. I'm just saying moderation. Having a takeaway once a week instead of four times a week, you know, just cutting back just a little because we're having too much of it um, I have a stash which is normally like biscuits, sweets, chocolate I don't have it every day it's nice to have just in case I do have that odd craving of something but I don't have it every day um, so if you're a person who can't have a stash just don't buy it and if you don't buy it, you don't have it. We need to cut back on eating the crap. <laughs> Not having enough water. Now, 
when I was younger this was a big thing for me because I was like guzzling coke like a lot of coke way too much coke I'm surprised I haven't like gone into a hospital with how much coke I was drinking but um, I don't have a problem with water anymore um, if you do struggle to drink water I recommend a straw it was a game changer really um, I get a water bottle with a straw and I just kind of guzzle it down and yeah I can I normally have two liters a day sometimes more sometimes less but roughly two liters a day and I feel so much better having two liters a day than I did when I was having like maybe a glass a day <laughs> so yeah we need to drink more water we need Okay, this is going to sort of go back to the social media. We need to stop comparing ourselves to other people. Your life might not look pretty, but then their life might look pretty, but not actually be pretty. I mean, seriously, a photo in someone's life is two seconds. Maybe longer if they've put a lot of effort into it with like props and backgrounds and things. But realistically, a picture is two seconds. You don't know that person's life. You don't know what struggles they're going through. You don't know what is around the corner for you. You might suddenly win big on something, like gaining the promotion or something. We need to focus more on ourselves than others. So stop comparing yourself to others because it's silly. You're, you've got to think of it in like, like a sports analogy. You're, you're in a race. You don't focus on other competitors, you focus on your race to get you through. So you don't want, I mean, yeah, it's nice to look at people on Instagram and other social medias and go, oh, that's nice, oh, that looks, I feel like maybe inspiration, ideas, motivation, it can be motivating, but it's, it can also really set you back. So you need to be careful about how you do it. So when I look at social media, I don't go, oh my god, they're so lucky. I just go, oh, that's a good place for me to go on holiday. I should look into it. Or I love what that person's wearing. I wonder where she got it. I wonder if I can get it too. You know, little things like that. Or, oh, look how much fun they're having. I need to meet up with my friends and have a really good time. You know, there's that. Not, oh my god, I need their life. So you need to figure out a, a line when it comes to social media and stop comparing yourself to others because it's just silly, this one. And it's not putting yourself first. I, if someone calls me and says, I need help, I'm there. But you got to make sure that you look after yourself first. I mean, it's like when you go on a plane they tell and the masks come down and they tell you to put it on first so then you can look after other people you got to take care of yourself first so you can take care of others and I think a lot of people do struggle with this so yeah we need to start putting people first start looking at ourselves start doing more self-care and yeah just taking better care of ourselves that was my 10 habits to ditch. 10 habits we need to ditch. Leave a comment down below if you think there's a habit we should ditch. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.